Here's the deal. I, Glenn Johns and I are friends, and we've known each other so long that after we finished this record, we were at dinner trying to figure out where we met, and we couldn't remember where we'd met. So that's somebody that I'm very comfortable with. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the fact that he um, engineered so many of the great Rolling Stones records, he co-produced Who's Next for the Who, he produced the first couple of Eagles records, engineered the first Led Zeppelin record, um, countless things produced the Who. He may have engineered You Really Got Me and My Generation, I mean, really, so he knows what he's doing. He really knows what mm -hmm. he's doing as a producer and as a recording engineer. So the fact that I was comfortable with him as a guy and as a friend, um, and he knew what he was doing, that was the easy part. The hard part was that if you're going to make a record, you've got to show the producer the songs you're going to do. I mean, he's going to want to know what are you going to go in and record. And this is a guy who, when they show you the song they're going to do, whether it's as an engineer or as a producer, the, show, the song they show you is Let It Be. Um, so there's me, and it's like, I'm going to show this guy a song of mine. And, you know, <laughs> like the song that he gets shown is usually Take It Easy, Let It Be, Sympathy for the Devil, you know, won't get fooled again. <laughs> so, ouch. So that's the daunting part. And Got also, yep. he's, he's, there's no bullshit in Glenn. So if he doesn't like it, he'll tell you. He's, he won't be a yep. jerk about it, but he'll tell you. Yeah, well, well you know, that's an um, interesting comment. Um, you know, producers oftentimes can, can do a number of things for, yeah. for artists. They can, they can help shape the sound of a song, they can help shape the structure of a song, or they could be the psychologist. He's more of the guy that shaped, on this record, the psychologist and the sound, and he shaped the structure in very subtle ways. He's a really cool record producer, Glenn John. Some guys are great because they come in and they say, why don't you play it on piano? Why don't you put um, a harvest chord on the bridge? Why don't you do this? No, let's rearrange, reorder, or reorganize. And on this record, at least, Glenn didn't do that he may have had a subtle word, a quiet word in the ear of some of the other musicians. He basically, I have a great picture of Glenn Johns that another great producer, Don Was, was going to have made into a business card. And it's on the inside of the record, on the inside of the booklet. And it's me with a hat, of course, with my head down like this, just looking, I don't know, determined or dejected or something. And Glenn's got his hands on my shoulders and he's just saying something to me. And Don wanted to print that up and just hand it to anybody who said, what does a producer do? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. And, and that's, he did that, but he also, he's hands on without always letting you know it. Mm -hmm. And I've also worked with him when he's been very intricate about play this part, play that part. Yeah, yeah. He's just, he's, he's, when it comes to record production, he's a genius. And when it comes to being a recording engineer, he's a genius. And that's a word that gets used too much, but I don't think it's too much with Glenn.